Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. So in this tutorial we will look on some importing options inside the Terragen. And specifically we will going to work with the SketchUp. So we'll see how we can export from SketchUp. For example, this is model of the um, Statue of Freedom. And uh, how we can export and how we can import inside the Terragen. So before we export for use let's go inside the Terragen inside the object and right here you'll notice we have it different objects where we can um, use it already as LWO reader low or RBG object reader or TGR reader so we have it all these different formats we can read in currently um, they also support additional formats but right now we're going to look with OBG reading and as long as your other applications can export with OBG, that it should work and import inside the Terragen very well with textures and other stuff. So let's go back to our um, SketchUp. And what I want to do is export the scenery. I want to export the model. Of course, we can go ahead and pre-select maybe some elements that we only want to export or for example in this case let's go just export everything that we have here okay so in a sketch up we have our model open we'll go now to file export and we'll select 3d model so from drop down we'll go to select obg you can also notice you can export an additional format some of them does not support by um, Terrigen, so we'll go with the OBG. But before we export, I want to go inside the options. And inside the options, we don't need triangulate. We'll just leave it those unchecked for now. But we want to check export texture maps. As well, we want to set to the feed. If you work with uh, maybe metrics or other ones, you can set to the meters or other things. But for this, uh, Statue of Freedom, I think the feet is more accurate, so we'll go select OK. And uh, Statue of Liberty, we we'll go to export. So let's go ahead and click export. Now you'll notice we export scenery, it's included ground, pedestal, everything. Let's go back to our Terragen application, and from here we're going to the add objects, object tab, objects, and we go to OBG reader. So we'll go open. Now you notice right here we have our um, model as OBG as well. We created textures in a folder. So let's go ahead and click open. And this is not XFrog, so we'll click no. And you notice right here we have it a model imported inside. And I think it's even accurate scale. Maybe need a little bit rescale. From top to bottom, the um, Statue of Liberty, I think it's about 90 meters. Okay, and let's look actually one thing. Let's go right here. We'll go take our measuring and we'll just go from this point to this. And we can see it's a 540, so it's a little bit large. So we probably want to scale a bit down to be accurate, but it's close enough. Okay, also, um, as you import model, most likely you will see these as bounding boxes. And it's a little bit hard for these models, mostly if they have a too large terrain other ones. So be sure you can switch to the show wireframe. So at least you can see where is the model located. And also how does it look. Okay, right here we can go preset at this point. Okay, let's set our camera. Enable lighting preview. And we can also just render. So you'll notice right here we have our model that we import from the SketchUp. And uh, if you don't know what format to support, OBG it's more standard format. It will support it um, more or less in other applications. So even from SketchUp, you can take an export inside the OBG. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.